Hey everybody, today I'm in this beautiful 2010 Toyota Sequoia. We have done a video on a Toyota Sequoia, but this one is a different one. We just got this one in, so don't get confused between the two. So I'm going to show you around on the inside and the outside of the vehicle and point out any features or flaws that it may have. Let's start with our steering wheel here. We have our call options here. We have different menus for our media controls. We have many different um, cutouts for our speedometer and uh, our gas gauge is in here. It just the different kind of thing, the battery level, all of that. Love the gray with the black as a contrasting, complementing colors. Looks really good. This is a, you have to insert the key for this vehicle, but it does have a separate key fob so you can unlock and lock it uh, without having to insert the key. That's super nice. Fans right here, right up here, we have temperature and time up in there. We have a digital display here for our media power button and on and off button right here. We have a CD player with our eject button as right there. Preset radio disc aux scan and text options all along here and we also have our presets along here as well to navigate. Tuner and scroll button right here and then we have another digital screen to show us what our climate control options are. So we have fan speed right here, temperature, AC options when you push these buttons, defrosters when you push on those buttons, what mode, and also temperature again for the passenger. USB aux. You can also control the rear. They have their own air conditioning units. I can hear it going right now. It's on. You can turn it off if you don't want the rear going. This is a tow capacity available car. On we'll, or SUV. You can also see that we have our different driving modes. We have two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, different options right here. Shifters right here in the middle. Large areas to put your drinks and to store different things. Cigarette lighter. It's in the ashtray right here. You can take it out and have a different um, or another cup holder if you would like. Huge control or a huge uh, cabinet in the middle here for storage and we also have some headphones in here for the DVD player. Great for kids and road tripping. We have cloth seats that are gray and they look to be in pretty much pristine condition. They were very well taken care of. We have a sunroof. You can see that this is a three row vehicle. So a very large vehicle, very roomy, very spacious. It's very nice for uh, many different needs. Let's hop on the outside and let me show you what's going on out there. We have a running board to make getting in and out of the vehicle easy. White is our exterior color. Rims and wheels look to be in pristine condition. Love the silver. Just love how giant those wheels are. Lenses look really good. We have some speckling throughout. Um, kind of looks like it was supposed to do like be like that. But rock chips are really hard on cars. Different paint scratches here and there throughout. It's not in perfect condition, but it could be worse. I just like there's no missing pieces. I think it overall looks very nice. Sides look good. Running boards don't have any missing pieces. Come around the back here. This is a V8 engine. Notice again that tow hitch. You have the different towing options inside the car. I was going to open that, but you get the gist of it. I'll go through. That's why you got to unlock it. You can fold down the seats. You can see our second row. You can also fold down these seats if you want a bigger trunk. But the trunk is fairly large with all the seats pulled up. They have their uh, own climate control options for the back seat as well, as long as that rear button is on. So the seats look really good. There might be a little bit of staining here and there, but overall, it's been really well taken care of. I invite you to come down to our dealership 
Come test drive this beautiful vehicle for yourself.